I've gone into a tree surgery, so yeah, it hasn't really helped me. <laughs> In this week's episode of Under the Lights, we have travelled up the M11 to Peterborough to visit the B Arena. This is home to Peterborough Sports FC and tonight they host Alfchurch in the Southern League Premier Division Central. It's the Turbines versus the Church and I'm absolutely buzzing. Also very cold. The club were founded in 1908 and were initially known as the Brotherhood's Engineering Works. Their most famous player is Victor Watson, who was eventually sold to West Ham for a bargain £50. He is still the Hammers' record goal scorer with 326 goals in 505 appearances. He even played in the first FA Cup final at Wembley in front of 200,000 fans. That is a lot of people. Now they may not be able to get 200,000 fans inside the B arena, but they can get 2,300 through the turnstiles. And these fans have had plenty to cheer about of late. They've won seven trophies under Jimmy Dean's management. Here we are at the dugout. They have gone for the bus shelter model. The framework is made out of metal and we've got our favorite perspex throughout with a lovely addition of the club's crest on the back. As for the seating, they've got the two-tier system, which fits up to 11 substitutes, plus five added extra seats on the side. We've got a little bit of AstroTurf at the front for the manager. Hang on a minute, the 301's here. Yes, please. <laughs> Earlier on, we mentioned that the club used to be called Brotherhood's Engineering Works. This is because it was set up by Peter Brotherhood, whose company was famous for manufacturing the first ever steam turbine engine in the world. This is why the turbine engine features on the club's crest and why they're nicknamed the Turbines. Is your travel news if you are coming to the ground via the train station it's a 31 minute walk if you're coming by the car i suggest putting pe1 3ha into your satellite navigational system safe travels people jimmy dean manager of peter sports jimmy you've had a lot of success at the club what'd you put that down to the obvious things always are Hard work, isn't it? I think we've, had, we've worked as hard as any any management staff, and I think if you do it, you play. See, you do it, and I, you know, I think that's a great starting point. What's your style of play? Yeah, we're attacking. We're, we're you know we're an attacking side. I think step six, we was the top goal scorers in the country. Step five, we was in the top three. I think we're currently the top step three goal scorers in the country. We've always, you know, we've always got goals. And what kind of manager are you? I try and be there for me players. I'm pretty demanding. I think I can't turn around to a player and say. Look, you know, stay with me this weekend, don't go away with your missus and have a what if spa day. How can I say that if I'm not going to do the same myself, you know what I mean? We wedding in the night on the Thursday, so the players could have a beer and we could be at, um, be at the game on Saturday. I then went on honeymoon on the Sunday and I was back for the Friday, so I didn't miss a game. I've never missed a game in six seasons. And if you could share the dugout with one manager, past or present, who would it be? It's got to be on copy, isn't it? Jordan Klopp, mate. What a geezer. What would you say to him? I'd say teach me, mate. I watch how they press and I watch, you know, it's how synchronised it is. Obviously, they get every day to work on it. But I'd like to see him close up and see the detail the man goes into. And you know, people say, oh, you shouldn't learn. You should be your own man. But <clears throat> mate, I'd love to learn off that man. I really would. Time for another inexperienced pitch review and this one is a beauty. It is a level playing surface with a few bobbles. However, the pitch is still in brilliant condition and has had a nice little cut for tonight's game. So I'm expecting plenty of tiki taka, especially from Peterborough because they score goals like this. What boot would I wear on this pitch? Well, I'm wearing them right now. These are the Adidas Copers, and I have caused minimal damage over the years in these bad boys. And I'm about to go and give them a little run out. But where does this pitch go on our ratings board? I'm gonna go for a fresh cut. 
Has anyone got any new lungs? Sizzling. Tangy. Stunner. And the lasagna coleslaw combo was absolutely bang on to make a lovely brew in the boardroom. You can't beat a nice warm coffee on a cold Tuesday night in Peterborough. Let's get back to the action. Oh, it's piping. Michael Gash, Peter Sports. Gashy, what did you make of the game tonight? A bit of a scrappy game. I think uh, at times we kind of dominated with possession, but we, uh, we didn't really do too much with it. A couple of chances in the first half, maybe be a bit more clinical or the final ball a little bit better. You talked about possession. I listened to the team talk at the end. You've got all the stats and everything. One of the lads does it on the side. He has like a system that he, that he uses and everything. So it's good. It's, it's good for Jim, the manager, and he uses it and tells us at half time and full time. So, you know, there's, there's no hiding. Where do you think you can finish this season? We're aiming for one thing and that's to go up. And unfortunately, you, you, you can't have performances like tonight. There's teams fighting at the top and fighting to get promoted and only one can go up and it's playoffs. So we need to be better than tonight if we want to go up, but we know that as a team. We went to the same college, Cambridge Regional. Have yeah. you used your BTEC national diploma? <laughs> Not yet, no, I haven't. Um, when I came out of full-time football uh, about four years ago now, I uh, wasn't too sure what I was going to do, but I, um, I've gone into a tree surgery, so yeah, it hasn't <laughs> really helped me. <laughs> Last of the final decisions on me. How many lives? Yeah, three lives each. Matty Miles to start. Yeah, yeah double or quits. Double or quits. 